What's up YouTube? I'm here at Earn Performance Center in Costa Mesa, California. This is one of the gyms I like to train at. It's got great equipment, great vibes, just overall a really, really good place to train where you can be focused and really get a good workout in. And today we're gonna to be training glutes. Specifically, we're gonna be working on that upper glute shelf. So this is a workout designed by my coach, Jamie D. Bernard. And I'm gonna be taking you guys with me, showing you all my tips and tricks for training those glutes, why I'm doing what I'm doing, and just talking about where I'm at right now in my prep. I'm about 10 weeks out from the first show I'm anticipating doing this year, which is the Tampa Pro. It's a very competitive, large pro show, so I'm very excited. And tonight I'm gonna to be sipping on my Global Formulas Bio Pumped Pre-Workout. This is a non-stim pre-workout because it is nighttime. I wanna be able to sleep, but I also wanna get a really good pump and I wanna be focused during my workout. So come on and join me and let's go get a workout in. Here's the workout for tonight. It's gonna to be a lot of hip thrusts, a few other things. I'm gonna jump right into my set of six hip thrusts. So we're gonna do two sets wide, two sets neutral, and then two sets with my feet really narrow. The narrow ones are killer, killer, killer. And the whole goal is that we're really targeting this upper glute medius, glute minimus area to really build out that glute shelf. So I'm gonna add a little more weight, and then I'm gonna be going for 12 to 15 each set. So going all the way to failure, meaning I physically cannot get a full rep and lock out at the top. I record what I do in the app and then I can take up to 90 seconds rest here. If I'm doing my math right, this is 180 and then 65, so 245 for 15. So rest for a little longer and do it again. Those are too wide, so next I'll put my feet neutral. All right, so this one I'm gonna throw my belt on you guys. Um, I'm gonna do an offset lunge. What you do is you're gonna hold two different weights. So one heavier weight, one lighter weight. The heavier weight is gonna go on the side of the back leg, so the leg's stepping back. And the idea behind this, which is cool, I just had never done it before, is that that additional heavy weight really challenges that glute medius. Glute medius, it does a lot of things, but one of the things it does is it stabilizes your knees. And so it's gonna really challenge this upper glute area when you've got the heavier weight on the less stable side. So it's a cool exercise. So basically you do, you know, I put my heavier weight in my right side to start. I'm gonna switch them and I'm gonna do a few sets like that. Um, I'm also gonna grab my wrist wraps because I do try to go as heavy as I can on this. So I'm gonna put those on and get started. Switching sides here. So next up, we're gonna do some hip abduction with a band. So we're gonna go in the other room. They've got some turf and some of the long bands that you might use for assisted pull-ups. And we're gonna go rep it out. So this one, so straight hip abduction. What I like to do on these is I actually like to put my other leg in front. Um, and then I also like to turn this foot inward, kind of like it's pigeon toed. And what you're gonna do when you do that is you're gonna better target that glute medius right up here, that glute minimus. So I'm just gonna kick as far as I can. And I'm gonna go for about, rep range is supposed to be 12 to 15, but I'll go to failure, so sometimes it's more like 20, maybe even 25 if I'm feeling really good. So it's burning a lot more. 
I'm right-handed, so my left side is weaker on everything. It's really normal. Um, pretty much everyone, no one is truly symmetrical. Even as bodybuilders, we try to be, we're not. So, just know that that's normal. This workout, it's a lot of hip thrusts at the beginning, and then everything else we move pretty quickly through, only about two sets each. So, that's it for the band. I kind of prefer to make a triangle um, with my legs because you're gonna get a little more hip abduction, right, in the glute med, all that is what abducts our hip. Um, so that's my preference. And, and for these, just really go slow, controlled. Um, you know, don't, don't use too much momentum. You can end up kind of pushing through your core and stuff. So just really control it and also control it on the way down, control the negative. That's also gonna really fatigue the glutes. So uh, I'm supposed to do about, I think, 12 to 15 on these. So um, we'll see how many I get. We'll go from there. Yeah, this one's really heavy. Um, I do this way normally, but yeah, I'm a little, a little fatigued. So I'm gonna stick with this weight. So the idea is we're really isolating the glutes. So I cannot push with my quads, like essentially at all, like maybe a tiny bit. Um, you're gonna get a little bit of hamstring, but especially when I am putting my knees out wide, the hamstrings aren't gonna be as strong as if your knees are um, parallel. So you're really, really gonna isolate your glutes. And that's the whole point of this workout, all the workouts I'm doing, I'm not really doing full leg days anymore. And it's a little different for me. I've never, I've never trained like this before. I've never, I didn't do this exercise before I worked with Jamie. So all my workouts right now are very, very glute specific. Bikini, it's all about glutes. It's all about shoulders. And don't get me wrong, you do need to train your legs, especially if you're a new competitor, but it comes to a point where for bikini, you don't want bigger legs. So um, I think, you know, in her opinion, I'm kind of at that point where I really don't need to grow my legs anymore, but I do, I could still build, especially the upper glutes. So let's do another set. <laughs> Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty safe exercise, but when you're training hard, you're going to failure. You want to make sure you've always got an exit strategy or you know what to do if you hit complete failure. So something like this, a little safer. This is a little light. I'm going to lean back. So next up, I'm gonna do the side leg press and I'm actually not gonna put any weight at all on this machine. This machine with just the carriage as is weighs 110 pounds. This arsenal strength equipment, you guys, it's no joke, it's heavy. Um, so I'm not gonna put any weight on. My rep range is supposed to be about 12 to 15. I'm gonna sit in the machine all the way rotated 90 degrees onto my side, so you see that? And then I'm gonna kick out kind of like a frog. <laughs> on each side. And I'm gonna do two sets of this, um, getting as many reps as I can. If I'm going way heavy, if I'm getting way more than 15, I will put a little weight on. But again, this is really heavy as is, so I'm just gonna do this, try to feel really good connection with my glutes and try to not die. So I'm gonna like lay my leg all the way like that. Into it. I'm gonna put my fit here, jump up, kick back, and 
for a lot of exercises, but especially this one, I like to put my hand on the muscle groups that are supposed to be working. And that's gonna help develop that mind-muscle connection. Okay, my hamstring's taken over a little bit, so that means glutes are toast. I'm gonna switch sides. And so that one, it's not like I couldn't get the weight up, but my glutes were not in anymore. It was all hamstring, so I'm gonna add a little more weight. Um, I got up to 18, I'm gonna try to keep it closer to 15 reps and do another one. All right, so we're done with glutes for today. I'm gonna wrap it up with some calves. This one, I like this machine too. It gets a little bit of hamstring, so wrap this out. Maybe do a little bit of posing practice and that'll be it. What's my training split right now? Um, I do six days a week and that's pretty much off season or prep. So three of those days uh, so far with Jamie are glute only, like glute, glute focus, not to say I don't do some compound movements and whatnot, but three glutes and then three upper body. So right now one is a shoulder, one is a back and bicep, and then one is like a really, really long, intense upper body workout. That's everything, it's chest, it's back, it's shoulders, it's bicep, triceps. And that one, sometimes I might even do two gym sessions in a day to get that one done. But that's what I need to improve is my upper body. Um, that's been judges feedback like the last year or so. So I'm really working hard to bring those improvements out there looking for. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the workout. I know my glutes are failing it. So before I wrap up tonight, I'm gonna run through my posing. I have a brand new posing coach. Angeline or posing by a as she's known on Instagram and she's really amazing at what she does She's created a new routine for me. I feel like it really encapsulates my personality So I'm just learning it and getting it down and I'm very excited to show you guys and eventually get on stage very soon So I want to thank you for watching this video Don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video turn on the notification bell It really helps me and will help encourage me to continue putting out content for you guys. So thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.